Well, good morning, motherfuckers. So today, today I'm making a pot roast, as you can tell. I forgot what cut this was, but. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook it in the crock pot. It's easier, you could cook it in the oven too if you wanted, and you could put you know potatoes on here and whatever, your vegetable. So I'm gonna do carrots, potatoes, and onion. So what I'm gonna do, you need to brown this first. So I'm gonna use this avocado oil, and you're just gonna drizzle it all over the meat. You wanna keep the moisture in the meat. See, probably good right there. Make sure you get you rub it in. Get it everywhere. Let it soak into the meat. Gordon Ramsay would be fucking proud. <laughs> There's fat on the bottom of these, but keep or yeah, fat. Keep it here. Don't take it off. Leave it on there to keep all that shit in there. All right. So now that we got the oil all over it, make sure you wash your hands. One second, another right there. I'm just showing you the prep, and I'll show you other stuff after. So now we got the oil on there. Now you want to season it. We're just gonna use salt. Just sprinkle a bunch on there. What the hell? There we go. That's good, right there. Don't do too much, because we're gonna have broth, beef broth, all that stuff. Here's the pepper. Because sometimes if you if you don't put oil or whatever, beef broth on these and you put them in the crock pot, they're just gonna turn out really, really dry. And I've made pot roasts and they've always been, they've, they've came out dry plenty of times, but I've learned. Okay, now we got our salt and pepper on there. Rub it in, just like we did with the olive oil. Olive oil, just keeping it, uh, keeping it all in the meat, which is what we want. All right, you can grab some of the oil that's on the pan now and just kind of get it all over, like that. Cool. All right, wash your hands again. You're gonna get fucking salmonella. Or some shit like that. Alright. Now, I bought some uh, red wine, yellow tail. We're gonna be adding this to the crock pot too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's some red wine right there. Ooh. Okay, don't put too much now because I'm just browning the meat. I'm just gonna do that right there. That's cool. So, that's not blood, it's wine. Red wine. Cool. All right. Now, I have the, the oven preheated to 275. Uh, it's still preheating, so I'm not gonna put it in there yet. I'm only gonna put the meat in there till you wanna just keep a look on it. There's not really a time. Just make sure when you see the top starting to brown, Take her out, and we're gonna put her in the crock pot for the rest of the cooking. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my broth and stuff to this uh, crock pot here. So all I, I just bought some of this Food Club uh, beef broth right here. Um, so yeah, grab that. You're gonna wanna There we go, got her open. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour her in the crock pot. There we go. You don't want too much liquid in there or it'll just ruin it. So this is our beef broth and it also calls for three fourths of a cup of uh, red wine with the beef broth too, so. I can find a uh, measuring cup, I could do it, you know. <laughs> All right, half, three fours. I'm just gonna use this cup right here, and I'm just gonna measure it out here. Um, about 
three fourths a cup. Let's say right about there. There we go. So we got about three fourths a cup. Pour it in the beef broth. There we go. Makes it turn purple. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Okay, oven's preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this big John, big bad John in the in the oven here. Let's keep an eye on it. Don't let it get too, you know, don't let it overcook. So here's your so far what it looks like. Beef broth and your wine. So what I'm gonna do now is I bought some carrots. I bought these uh the rainbow baby carrots right here. You're not gonna do shit with them. You're literally gonna, I'm not gonna put them in yet because they'll cook pretty quick. So I gotta cut my garlic. Also, I bought rosemary. We're gonna lay it on top of the meat when it's in the crock pot. And some thyme as well. Just lay it over the top, get some of that, that flavor in there. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab your potatoes. I am going to cut these in pieces and then uh, put them in the crock pot with the meat as well to cook. And for you're gonna cook the meat for about seven to eight hours. So I'll have another another video here soon.